Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point program. Today's topic of discussion is flue gas desulfurization unit. First of all, let's see why this topic is in the discussion. According to recent news, a committee chaired by Chief Scientific Advisor PSA Ajay Sood has recommended ending the policy that made flue gas desulfurization FGD units mandatory in all coal-based thermal power plants TPPs. This debate is gaining attention because FGD units were considered essential for controlling SO2 emissions. But concerns have been raised about their cost and practicality. Now let's discuss about the FGD unit. The flue gas desulfurization FGD unit is a technological system used in coal-based thermal power plants and other industrial units to remove sulfur dioxide SO2 from flue gases. In this unit, flue gases are typically exposed to alkaline chemicals such as limestone or seawater which remove SO2 and convert it into solid or liquid compounds. This system is primarily used to prevent atmospheric pollution and acid rain. Now let's discuss about types of FGD systems in coal-based thermal power plants. Wet limestone scrubbing. In this process, a limestone slurry is brought into contact with flue gases, removing SO2 and forming gypsum. Dry sorbent injection. Powdered sorbents like limestone are injected into the flue gas, which absorbs the SO2. Seawater treatment. Coastal plants use seawater to absorb SO2. Now let's understand why is SO2 emission a threat? SO2 is a major air pollutant responsible for respiratory diseases, acid rain, and the formation of PM 2.5 particles. It also contributes to global warming and climate change. In India, around 15% of PM 2.5 comes from secondary particles formed from SO2 emissions from coal-based plants, which have severe health impacts. Now moving on to details about current status of FGD units in India. In 2015, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Mo EFCC, made FGD mandatory for all coal-based TPPs. The initial deadline was 2018, which was extended multiple times. Now the deadline is set between 2027 and 2029. According to the government press release on August 1st, 2024, out of 537 coal-based TPPs in India, only 39 have installed FGD units. The cost of installing an FGD unit is 1.2 crore rupees per megawatt, which affects electricity tariffs. Lastly, let's discuss why are FGD units controversial? Cost FGD units are expensive leading to increased electricity generation costs, delay in compliance. Most plants have not adhered to the deadlines. Policy debate. The government argues that it would make electricity more expensive and burden consumers, while experts believe that it is necessary for clean air and public health. Alternatives. According to experts, there is no viable alternative to FGD for removing SO2. Coal washing cannot remove sulphur. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements regarding FGD units. In this unit, flue gases are typically exposed to alkaline chemicals such as limestone or seawater. The system is primarily used to prevent atmospheric pollution and acid rain. Which of the above statements is our correct? A. Only one. B only two, C, both one and two, D, neither one nor two. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. 
For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.